Hi guys, welcome to Archie Luxury Vlogs, the vlogs. Guys, I really enjoy making these vlogs for you because it gives you an insight into my life. One thing I want to show you in this, this week's vlog is I actually took Erin Dawes out to Mount, Mount Tambourine. We had breakfast. We had breakfast and we just decided, hey, let's just let's just go and have breakfast there. And the wife took her Hermes Birkin, she took a Birkin, and we had a really nice breakfast. It was nice just to get away for a little bit. And um, unfortunately when we're coming back, I gotta tell you there was this accident, this, this truck was full of gizzards from chicken, chicken livers and, and, and guts. And it went all over the road and um, we drove through it. And the, for the next week, I've been cleaning off chicken bits off the car. <laughs> Anyhow, the joys of having a Honda Civic doesn't mean I don't have to get upset. Unfortunately, I didn't take any footage of it. I just thought, nah, nah, and... Uh, yeah, I just, just didn't take any footage. But take a look. I had a great time there. Tell me what you guys think of that. It's nice to have a breakfast here, isn't it? Mm. 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 It's So th that's your Asian omelette, isn't it? Right, yeah. Wow, look at that, it looks gorgeous. Mm, it looks very healthy too. Yes. Yeah. Very, very healthy. It's nice out here, isn't it? Mm. Really cool weather. Hey guys, I gotta tell you, it's been my dream for 20 years. Well, actually, since I got married in 2005, I wanted to go to New Farm Park. I wanted to go to the powerhouse. Um, this is like a theater there and have a wine and chill with my wife. And, you know, I remember years ago, I used to bring wine uh, in the car. We'd go down with the kids near the wine bar. I had little plastic cups and we'd, we'd pour it and we'd pretend that I'd paid premium prices for it. But it's always been a dream of mine to finally Go there, order a beer, order a wine, have a snack. And I got to tell you, it's it's a dream come true. You may think that is silly that I waited so long, but I just didn't want to spend or waste money. I've had problems psychologically with money, my relationship with money. And I found out why I, I had taken so long, because it was $40 for a glass of Chardonnay, uh, a pint of beer, and some calamari. $40? $40. 40. 
uh, it was nice, but forty dollars worth. Forty wasn't quite forty dollars worth, but you know what? It was a dream fulfilled. So I want to show you the footage, and uh, you can tell me if you think it was worth it. Uh, it was a great day out. Great day out at New Farm Park. Beautiful day in the park here, isn't it? See, it's only 20, what is it, 20, what's it, 20 degrees? 24. Absolutely beautiful. So this is April. See, April's a really nice month, isn't it? It's not too cold yet. May, June. June is sort of the winter, isn't it? So, very nice. This is sort of autumn, isn't it? What is it? Autumn? Autumn time. Wow, this park is packed. People having barbecues and that as well here. Very cute. It's so lovely with the river there. I've wanted to buy a drink at this bar here for 15 years, you know, it's a joke. But I never really could bring myself to pay bar prices. But uh, amazing, isn't it? So many people here today. Oh, look at this park. It's crazy. It's really quite nice. Oh, look at this. We could get a drink today if you like. What do you think? Do you want to do that? What would you like? We've got here, we can sit down the front there. What do you think? Oh, they sell food in that too. Do you want anything? I just scooted for the 150 lashes. Uh, what's the bigger one? I don't know. I'll have that, thank you. Thank you. Sit here if you like. Or you want to sit at the table? There we go. Look at that. That's cool. Is that live music? Oh, sorry. Okay. Cheers. Oh, Have a sip. 50 lashes. That's a yeah, it's a boutique sort of beer. It's quite nice. What do you think? It's a pale ale? Yeah. It's quite nice. Cheers.
amazing, isn't it? How's that? What do you think of that? Nice. Sit down. I've wanted to have a beer here for years, <laughs> you know. I think so. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice snack, what do you think? It's amazing, isn't it? People are celebrating stuff here. It's really quite. It's amazing, isn't it? So much stuff going on here. Yes. It's lovely here, isn't it? The moon's up there. So much stuff's happening in the park here today. I think they, are they bowling or something? The kids are playing some games. Too. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. This last bit of footage, guys, is the, uh, the after the Anzac service. Uh, I shot a bit of fo footage just leaving the service. And uh, i got to tell you, that, that video I made, I won't be filming any more Anzac days. That was a disaster. That was a ratings disaster. Anyhow, guys, it was uh, a good service. The reason I filmed it was my son was in the band. I went there because my son was in the band. So there you go, guys. Go and take a look and tell me what you guys think of that.
so she's always used to me putting on her. Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke, Luke is a great guy, Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.